What's the one thing you wish you were told before you got married? Don't. Well, basically, um, this is a continuation of the conversation that we had, you know, uh, from the last video that I did when we talked about rituals. I just want to continue this video along that line. Um, this one today, what we're going to talk about, uh, who do you take advice from as married couples? Guys, remember, this is the People's Liberation Academy, right? It's all about education for me. I love politics. I love life. I love everything, you know? So every opportunity that I have to teach somebody else something that I found, I want to do that. And that is why I'm doing this for you, to you, for you guys. So basically, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like this video so your friends and, you know, share with other people. And that's how some other folks would come on board and learn these little things. But um, I want to share again, who do you take advice from? That is the, the next uh, part I'm going into. The reason why I always say, you know, um, doing these series that I'm doing currently talking about, you know, relationship is because relationships and happy homes goes along with having a healthy political climate. When the homes are happy, couples are happy, our politics is going to be a lot more healthier. You have more part participation, all that stuff, because if the homes are taken care of, then everything else could be fine, would be fine. Right. And that is why we want to push for happy homes. Because a lot of our sisters and brothers today in the diaspora are going through some really difficult times in their relationships. So maybe this is going to help somebody today. This is going to, you know, appeal to someone. Maybe you're married. Maybe you're not married yet. But um, somebody's going to be blessed by this message. So I want you to listen to this. This is our sister Priscilla Shera. Very powerful. Listen to this. This is phenomenal. I want you guys to see this. All righty, we've got some questions here from our audience that we're going to be asking our guest, Fawn Weaver. Thank you so much for being up for this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, some single women that have a couple questions for us. How many of you are single in our group today? How many of you are single? All right, nice. so we have quite a handful of single yeah. women that are gathering with us today. Uh, here's a question from Lindsay. She wants to know, what is the one thing, if you could just boil it down to one, what's the one thing you wish you were told before you got married? Don't listen to advice of those who are not happily married. So that's what you wish you were told. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to advice of people who are not happily married. Yeah, why would you listen to the advice? Would you listen to someone that's going through bankruptcy to help you with your finances? And so it's, it's unfortunately, we go back to that, what we were talking about earlier. It's always those that are negative, that are so loud. They're so vocal. They're the ones who want to give you advice. And they set you up for failure because you start looking for stuff that would not otherwise be there. Mm -hmm. And if you look for something, you will create it. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. You know, I, I saw this when I came across these videos. It took me a while for me to say, do I really want to do this? Because, I mean, this is not what you guys know about me, right? But again, I'm like, you know, this is Ibrahim. I'm very, I'm a kind of, a, I'm very versatile. I, I believe in versatility, right? Diversification of my knowledge and ideas and everything. I want to be able to talk about any topic whatsoever, right? So I saw this. And when you look at the rates of, you know, um, divorces and all that stuff in relationships and marriages, you know, across, you know, especially in this part of the world, um, I'm like, no, I have to share this. I have to share this and I know somebody's going to be blessed. I don't care what part of, you know, the world you are, you know, as long as you're a woman or a man, this is something you can learn from. And I want you guys to improve on yourselves. You see, because sometimes all we need is a little bit of a tune up, you know, to get things right. And that is what these ladies are doing right here. So listen to this conversation, guys. This is beautiful. Oof. Yeah. So do you think then a single woman should pur pursue a relationship with a happy wife? for the purpose of asking her, yeah. gleaning from her, yes. listening to what she has to say. Absolutely, be in the presence of those who are happily married, especially happy wives, and just hang out with them. Don't ask them a bunch of questions, just go just go and have coffee. Yeah. Because those who are, it's so interesting, those who are happily married, the moment you sit with them and you give them the ability to talk about it, it's like turning on a water speaker, you cannot shut it off because no one ever cares. Every, yeah. Everyone wants to know about the drama. Yeah. And so when you give them the opportunity to just say. They're glad. They're glad. Yeah. They're, they're grateful. Life okay. is good. Sorry, cut the video. I need to tell you something. You are not subscribed YouTube channel. That's why you need to subscribe. And please, please, please subscribe. So we hit our goal and reach many, many more people. I want you to listen to this, this, this spot right here about if you can you can look for if you're looking for problems you'll find them or also you know just the desire of the the loud ones 
you always it's the negative things that always take precedence right the good things are not loud enough for people so we all when you look at social media today it's all drama look at facebook like what is happening if you have a channel where you talk about you know strictly business all professional and this and that you're not into gossiping you're not into you don't get as much attention but bring your drama bring your family issues bring your problems bring your trouble that is what people are drawn to that is what human beings are drawn to and that is what social media has amplified so listen to this area again listen to this i don't want you to miss this listen to this. the purpose of asking her yeah. gleaning from her yes. listening to what she has to say absolutely be in the presence of those who are happily married especially happy wives and just hang out with them don't ask them a bunch of questions just go just go and have coffee yeah because those who are it's so interesting those who are happily married the moment you sit with them and you give them the ability to talk about it it's like turning on a water speaker you cannot shut it off because no one ever cares Every, yeah. Everyone wants to know about the drama. Yeah. And everyone wants to know about the drama. Nobody really cares about the good things no more. It is the drama. That is what you should learn from them. And so when you give them the opportunity to just say they're glad, they're glad, yeah. they're they're grateful. Life okay. is good. This woman says, "What advice would you give to a single woman in their mid thirties who has a desire to be married, but honestly, there are no men around who will pursue you?" And she has underlined pursue. Not that they're not there. Yeah. They're just not pursuing. Yeah. Well, here's the good news: if you're not looking for men, you're looking for a man. <laughs> and if you are looking for the one, that the one is already chosen for you. So all you have to do is focus on creating the life of your dreams while you're single, and allow for that to come to you. Deep. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's deep. In what ways can a new wife start out on the right track right away with her marriage and build happy elements into her marriage? Thank you for this question, Bessie. Where's Bessie? Are you back there somewhere? There she is back there. That's what she wants Fantas to know. Yeah. In what ways can you start off right off the bat? Yeah, there was a there's a, a real fiery wife that I that I interviewed in Cape Town, and she was just I mean, she was I want to say 68 and she gave me a run for my money hiking. I hiking. mean, hiking. Okay. Yeah. She had so much energy. And one of the things that she said is, is that if a woman begins talking negatively about her husband around her, she will not go out with that woman again. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, these are some of the morals I want to promote. And that's why, when, like I said, when I saw this video, I'm like, no, my conscience is eating me alive. I have to share this. I know this is not what you guys know that I talk about all the time. But sometimes it's nice to branch out and share because for me it's about i just want to share stuff that i feel like would bless somebody else and this is powerful if every woman does these things i'm telling you the world is going to be a better place listen to this a little bit more and so what happens with those who are newly married if you sit if you put together say seven women around a table you're going to have six of them that are complaining about their spouses or their marriage or something that they did wrong because that kind of makes you feel in. Yeah. But then you're going to have that one person who is silent. It's usually the happy wife. And it's because that happy wife doesn't want to seem as though they're being braggadocious or seem as though they're haughty or they're higher yeah. than, right? Yeah. And I get it. The problem with that is, is we're going back to the comment you made earlier, then the only people that are ever talking are those six. And so if you are that one, remove yourself Absolutely. from that environment. Absolutely. It's okay to keep it at a distance, but if you really truly want to create a marriage that is built to last a lifetime and to be happily married, then you want to surround yourself. Birds of a feather flock together. Boom. Boom. I don't think I have anything much more to say to that because I don't want to do all the analysis, but I want you to figure this out. You tell me what you think. Go in the comments and make a comment. Let me know. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel too. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? Like the channel and let's share so other people would learn from this. Bye-bye.